Hello and welcome to Vietnam Donor Out Daily English News Bulletin on Net with BBC 10. I'm on guest speaking for Manor. Every day we bring you comprehensive and up to date information on Vietnam and following major stories on the last day of 2011. Russia wants to promote free trade with Vietnam. Workshop for Passion, Piaggio event for Hanoi 2. And we'll explore by Jai Thi, a specialty of Vietnam. Russia want to further liberalize trade with Vietnam. The messages were delivered during a press conference on the partnership between the two countries on December 28. The Russian ambassador to Vietnam said at the conference that developing relations with Vietnam will be a priority in Russia's diplomatic policies in Asia in the years to come. Russia wants to further boost the liberalization of trade with Vietnam. The two sides signed a number of documents on economic, scientific and trade cooperation. Bilateral trade in the first 10 months of 2011 reached 2.34 billion US dollars, up 24.5% on year. The Vietnam National Oil and Gas Group, or Petro Vietnam, is produced 15 million tons of crude oil this year. The company said all of its targets were supported earlier than scheduled. The group exceeded its production target despite stagnant output from some oil fields. The stagnation was compensated by technical innovations which raised the extraction ratio up to 52%. In second half of the year, Petro Vietnam started tapping two new oil fields and increased oil production abroad. Higher production has also helped the group realize its financial plan for the whole year. And following is some economic news in brief. Vietnam has forecast the number of its Internet TV viewers will increase five-fold within the next five years. Vietnam now has three Internet TV providers, namely VNPT, FPT and Viettel, with a total number of 600,000 subscribers. Unlike other pay TV services, Internet TV can offer a wide range of services on the same network such as movies on demand, karaoke and video calling. Vietnam remains a favorite destination for international investors in its World Investment Prospect Survey 2011 of the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Vietnam climbed three notches under the survey. Vietnam ranked the first in Southeast Asia in terms of FDI instruction. The country also stuck among 10 most attractive economies for foreign investors, especially from Japan and Asia developing countries. Vietnam's textile and garment sector posted an export surplus of 6.5 billion US dollars in 2011, up 1.5 billion US dollars last year. The industry localization ratio has risen to 48%. Vietnam's government exports to key markets experienced significant growth such as Japan with 52%, the EU with 41% and the US with 14%. Hanoi welcomed as many as 1.9 million international visitors in 2011, an increase of 11% over 2010. The city saw significant increases in the number of visitors from China with 19%, Australia 28% and Japan 13%. The capital city of Vietnam also recorded a year-on-year -year increase of 10% in domestic visitors to the city. Vietnam mechanics industry has posted significant achievements in recent years. This industry has not only met the domestic demand, but also found its way to international market. Let's meet a mechanical enterprise of Vietnam and see how the industry has grown. These 100-ton cranes and bridge crane girders were made in Guangzhou Mechanical Enterprise. This factory is located in Vietnam's northern province of Ninh Bình. This is one of the first Vietnamese enterprises to make lifting equipment in the country. Guangzhou Mechanical Enterprise has made thousand tons of lifting equipment. The company has provided lifting equipment for large industrial plants across the country. The company's products are 50% to 30% cheaper than imported goods of the same kind. Những người làm cơ khí 
thì ngoài cái chuyện đầu tư lớn ra thì người ta còn phải có một cái hoài bão và cũng mong muốn được đóng góp cho 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 quê hương đất nước và đồng thời nữa là có thể nói cái lĩnh vực này khó khăn đấy phải có được những cái kiến thức rồi là công nghệ rồi phải sử dụng một cái đội ngũ kỹ sư là mười mười mấy loại kỹ sư để mà tập hợp người ta lại để mà mà, mà tạo ra được những cái sản phẩm cơ khí có cái chất lượng cao đấy nhưng tuy nhiên ấy, cái lĩnh vực này nếu như mà được đánh giá và định hướng một đúng mức ấy, thì sẽ làm tiền đề cho các cái lĩnh vực khác phát triển Guangzhou Mechanical Enterprise is one of more than 1,400 non-state mechanical firms in Vietnam. The enterprise has significantly contributed to the development of Vietnam's mechanical industry. In the early 1990s, the industry could meet only 8% to 10% of the domestic demand. Nowadays, this figure rocketed to 30% not only reducing the dependence on foreign machine imports, Vietnam mechanical products also get exported. In the past two years, the exported value of Vietnam mechanical products exceeded 2 billion US dollars. Điểm điểm lại trong thời gian vừa qua thì cũng có nhiều cái thành tựu mà ngành cơ khí đạt được, đặc biệt trong cái giai đoạn từ 2000 đến 2005. Có thể nói đấy là cái giai đoạn mà tổng công ty tập đoàn cơ khí trong nước cũng như là các cái doanh nghiệp tư nhân thì họ đầu tư vào cái mạng cơ khí để sản xuất ra những cái sản phẩm cơ khí trọng điểm. In the process of industrialization and modernization of the country, Vietnam needs to build a large number of industrial plants such as power plants, chemical plants, cement plants with the application of advanced technologies in mechanical engineering, especially in automation technology. Almost all plants need automatic control machine. This is a potential market for companies such as Guangzhou Mechanical Enterprise and other firms to blossom in the coming years. Vietnam Journal. It's not just news, it's life in Vietnam. Welcome back to Vietnam Journal. Italian scooter producer Piaggio launched a special event titled Workshop for Passion in Hanoi on Friday night. The event includes an award ceremony for winners of an online design competition namely Liberty by You. There were also art performances plus more and other fun activities for Hanoi youth. The event attracted the participation of hundreds of young Hanoians. Famous and influential young artists also contributed to the spirit of the night. Participants had opportunities to enjoy installation art, Liberty Designs by four international artists. Liberty is a popular scooter model of the Italian producer in Vietnam. Flash mob, light show and performance arts also enchanted young participants. At the event, Biagio Vietnam also granted awards to winners in the Art of the Motorbike campaign. The online competition, namely Liberty by You and Art of the Motorbike campaign, ran from May to September 2011. The contest received hundreds of artworks from Biagio fans in the Asian country. Born in 1986 to Vietnamese parents in Sydney, Natalie is the world-famous video blogger whose YouTube channel has been subscribed by nearly one million viewers around the world. 
As the most subscribed Australian YouTuber of all time, Natalie's videos have more than 350 million views, and she has been widely covered by both local and international media. Her YouTube clips express not only her dynamic creativity but also great sense of humor. Meanwhile, T.C. Candler founded its annual independent critic list 100 Most Beautiful Faces in 1990. Since then, it has chosen top beauties based on their popularity, lifestyle and profession. Bacha is more commune of Bavi district in northern Hanoi. It is famous for large tea fuels and delicious tea products. Let's follow our VTC10 reporter to explore this delicacy of this poor village. Bacha is a traditional tea village. Local people have been cultivating and processing tea for many generations. The hands of local women show the hardship of this job and their dedication to the business. In particular, picking tea is not an easy work. Is required fast and clever hands. Về sao này thì nó phụ thuộc vào cái điều chỉnh lửa và cái da chè và chè nó làm sao phù hợp thì cái hương vị chè nó ngon và tinh riêng. In Bacha, tea production brings in high profit, just improving the living standard of local people. The application of science and technology make tea processing more efficient and enhances the value of tea. New tea factories have created jobs and stable income for farmers here. Hương vị trà thì rất trà thì rất là thơm ngon. Thì hôm nay đấy đối với tôi là một cái khám phá. Thế do đó là có hai cái cảm tưởng hai cái cảm tưởng tưởng chính của tôi ấy. một là cánh đồng trà mênh mông bát ngát rất là rộng lớn chứ nó không nhỏ 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 phân chia và cái thứ hai nữa hương vị trà thì lại tuyệt vời như vậy nữa thì hơn vượt trội hoặc là vượt hoặc bằng hoặc là thì như thái nguyên thì cũng là tốt lắm rồi thì tôi nghĩ rằng là đấy cũng là cái đặc sản của đất nước mình unlike the noisy urban area this commune offers overwhelming beauty of tea hills and gardens Local people still commit to the tea processing career to keep their village tradition. The story about the delicious tea abacha has wrapped up our last news bulletin of 2011. For comments and feedbacks, please send us an email to netvietdaily at gmail.com. We wish you a happy new year and stay with NetVietVTC10 in 2012.